Good morning! So today is the 33rd day since breaking my fast, my 108 day fast. It is March 5th, 2018, two days from my birthday. Two days from my 30th birthday. So Andrew and I are in Vermont right now. I just wanted to touch base about what I've been eating today. I actually haven't even broken my fast from yesterday. I finished eating around eight o'clock last night and it's right now um, about 8.30. And yeah, I haven't really been hungry. I had the kale salad and that was the first kind of cooked dish thing that I had. And I know it's a little bit early since breaking the nine day fast for me to eat something cooked, but I just had some kale and I know that it's even harder to digest raw sometimes. So I just like heated it up a little bit so it wasn't so tough. And I woke up feeling really, really full this morning and not really hungry at all. And I also had a bowel movement on my own. So that was really exciting. At first it wasn't very easy. And then I was getting dressed and I was like, uh oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. So I went to the bathroom and that was great. So I'm really happy that that happened. And now I'm just getting ready to do a workout with Andrew. We're gonna do a workout together here. There's a lot of space in the living room area, so we're gonna do a workout together. And then we're planning, I think, to go for a walk on the bike path that they have here in Vermont. It's really beautiful, and we'll see how that goes. Other way, otherwise, there's a waterfront, and we're really close to Lake Champlain, and I've never been to any of the Great Lakes before, so, I'm really excited about that and we'll see. Well, who knows if that will really happen or not, but that's kind of the loose plan that we have put together. Anyway, I'm really excited to do this workout though because this is from the Shana, Shana Virtue, uh, Shana, uh, the Shana Virtue Virtue Method book that she has. So I'm gonna do the workout. She has a whole system of eating and meditation and stuff. And Andrew and I already have a meditation practice. I do want to try incorporating some of hers as well, or I do want to incorporate her meditations some of the days, but we have a pretty solid meditation practice that we do. It's a gratitude meditation and affirmations that we do in the morning. So I already did that meditation. And then she says to drink water and eat breakfast and do your exercise and all that stuff. So I'm not quite doing everything that she suggests only because I'm just eating so differently right now and I just broke the fast and she does recommend eating a lot of protein and I'm reading the book Proteinaholic right now and they basically say that we don't really need that much protein actually and just to stick with whole plant-based food. So that's what I'm doing right now and we'll see. I'm gonna do the workout, see how I feel. Last time I did her workout, I didn't even do the whole thing and my appetite kind of skyrocketed the day after. I was just so feeling so hungry. And so I'm just interested to see how that goes today. And we have we have tons and tons of food. We actually got some sweet potatoes. So we'll see how that goes. I might have some sweet potatoes today, but I don't think I will because I felt I felt really full this morning and it was a little bit uncomfortable and I didn't really like that. So we'll see how today goes. I might have some the next day, but I'm not sure. I don't know. And also there's a vegan cafe here. There's another one. I thought the only vegan place was in Brattleboro, but there's one here too. It's a little cafe and I saw that and they have juices and smoothies and, and uh, wraps and things like that. It looked really good. It looked really, really, really tasty. But I also have to just be careful because I'm like, Food, 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 food. Instead of, you know, okay, Melissa, you just did a fast. Let's take it slow. So it's been a little challenging. Cause Andrew was like, oh yeah, you could get like a salad from there. I'm like, yeah, or I could get their eggplant, bacon, lettuce, tomato sandwich, which I will not get. Just throwing that out there now, but I was like, oh, that looks so good. I want to, cause I really want to attempt to make a uh, eggplant, the eggplant bacon. Although I don't know, I don't know how I feel about the liquid smoke. Cause I saw that people put liquid smoke, which is just basically collecting the smoke from burning a fire. 
which is kind of weird to be putting on your food, to be perfectly honest. But people like that smoky bacon flavor, which is one of the things that people have trouble giving up. Bacon is one of those foods where people are like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's like crazy. And I understand I didn't grow up eating bacon, but I have tried bacon a few times and this really like tastes pretty good. It's like a smoky, crunchy, salty mist. But it's like bacon or eggplant. Eggplant for the win, always hands down. Anyway, that's that. That's my opinion on that. So yeah, I'm just really excited. I'm about to start setting up everything because we're gonna use some kettlebells and some bands and our yoga mats to do this exercise and I'm really, really excited. So today's the first day and it's a 28 day workout plan. So we'll see how it goes. So far this is like what I look like. Can you see? From the side. So I gotta work on that booty. That's what I want to work on. So I can have a butt instead of a continuous leg as I've been told. I'm just kidding, I don't really have a continuous leg. But I do wanna work on my glutes a little bit more because I do have imbalances in my back and in my hips and things like that. So I know my my gluteus muscles are a little bit weak, or you can say your butt muscles. They're a little weaker actually, so I'm really excited to be working on those muscles so that I can have better stability in my body and move my body in a more efficient way. That's one of the things that I want to work on because I really need to work on that actually. Because I do, now it's a lot better because I've worked a lot on my mental health but I used to have a lot of low back pain and things like that. So I just, you know, things associated like in this area, like I've been, ha I had, you know, tight muscles, you know, all this stuff. So I'm work I want to work on that. And that is the plan. So I will keep you posted about that as well as my food. I don't know if this should be separate videos or not, because I'm talking about working out. Maybe I'll do like a workout video thing. I don't know, we'll see, but I'm just letting you know that I haven't eaten anything yet, and I have tons of coconuts, so if I get thirsty, I can hydrate with that, and yeah, I'm really, really excited. Andrew also just broke his fast right now, so stay tuned for his video. He will post his weekly update of his video. That way you can see how he's doing, and it's the best when you break your fast, and you drink your tea, and your bubbly, and then you have some coconut water. It's amazing. When you do a dry dry fast, it's just like amazing when you can have coconut water and you're just like, this is amazing. Anyway, so that's that for now. And also, oh, I forgot to say, uh, Andrew and I went to Barnes & Noble yesterday because we got here a little early and we got some cookbooks, which I'm really excited about. We got the Forks Over Knives cookbook just because I wanted to check it out. I mean, I can look up a lot of recipes online, but they have, low fat, plant-based, whole food, plant-based diet food on there in their cookbook. So I was just curious to see what kind of things they used instead of using oils and things like that. So I got, we got that one and we also got some other cookbooks. One was on making whole grain breads and pastas from scratch. So I'm really, really excited about those. And we also got medical medium again. We got the first medical medium book again. My phone is like blowing up. We got the first medical medium book again, so that's exciting, because I gave away my copy, the second one that I got, to my mom, and the first one I had, I lent it to my cousin, but I just kind of gave it to her, basically. I didn't even tell her that I gave it to her, but she has it now, so she had that one. My mom has the second one I got, so then this is the third one that we bought, the first medical medium book. We had the second and the third, the uh, Whole Foods, something I think and the thyroid healing so it's really cool he has a lot of good things to say and I wanted to get his first book because he has a 28 day cleanse so I was thinking of doing that in conjunction with the Shana Virtue workout instead of following her recipe plan so we'll see how that goes I'm not sure how that's gonna work out but we'll see, because I'm also like doing this fast stuff still too. I'm not quite done with finishing the fast and 
I don't know. I'm just like, that's how I feel. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking now and I'm gonna start setting up for our workout. And I will let you know what I eat later today. See you later. All right, so the first thing that I'm having today is some coconut water, and you opened it up for me. And that's the first thing that I'm eating today on the 33rd day, since breaking my 108th day fast on March 5th, 2018. Alrighty, so I'm feeling a little hungry after the coconut water. I had two coconut water, so I'm gonna have some bananas. Look at those, they're so ripe. They're like, they're borderline. They're gonna be good though, I'm excited. So I'm gonna have some bananas and we're gonna get going soon. We're taking a really long time to get our day out of the apartment, which is totally fine because it's beautiful in here. There's really a lot of light. We did our workout. We did a lot of things that we needed to do. So now we are gonna go explore. And also there's an Asian market around here, which I called and they have durian. So I'm excited because I really wanted to have some durian for my birthday. So we're gonna get some. Anyway. I'm really excited and that's that and I'm gonna have some bananas. Thought you should know, thanks for watching. See you later. Okay, I just did Doc Gen Fit's, what was it? It's move challenge, move your body, something move your something challenge. I don't know, I'll look it up. But anyway, I just did it and it was awesome. It was like 15 minutes the first day. I'm a little slow on the uptake but I just did the first day and it was great. I loved it, it was quick, easy, simple. She does it with you, she explains things while she's doing it and it was really great. So we'll see how tomorrow I'll feel because I did Shauna Vershi's workout today and Doc Jen Fit's workout. So we'll see. I'm planning to take a bath tonight which will definitely help and also we still get to do Shauna Vershi's mobility uh, exercises which will also help I think with uh, recovery for tomorrow so I'm really excited to do that but I was just like in inspired and enthusiastic to do this workout in addition to what I had done with Shana Virtue and now I'm actually baking some sweet potatoes and I have some kale salad left from last night and I think I'm gonna want something sweet like a mango or something like that so I'll have that before I eat the salad and and the sweet potatoes so thought I'd keep you posted about that okay Good afternoon, everyone. It's just past noon time, and and here Melissa and I are in the car on our way to this beautiful walk that's near Lake Champlain. We're both really yeah, excited about that. It's this bike path that Andy's been telling me about, and we wanted to bike it, but then it was cold, and now we're gonna go check out check it out and see if we can walk it, right? That's, yeah, you can see the there's snow everywhere, so it's not well. It's it's a pretty clear but crisp day. And so it's, we'll see how it goes. And it's not too cold, which is great. It's not too cold. And the At sun least, is trying know. to come out, I feel like. But we had a really wonderful morning. It took us a little bit longer than usual to get on the road, but we were able to, I was able to break my fast and drink four coconuts. And Melissa had two and a young coconuts. They were so refreshing and good. Yeah, and then I had three bananas, three of the Cavendish. Cavendash? Cavendash? Cavendash, maybe? I'm not sure. We'll have to look it up. We'll have to look it up. <laughs> it's something like that. Which is the, it's just the bananas that you find in the grocery store. Yeah, yesterday though, I did have 12 little apple bananas and they were so, 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 so good. They were like just a nice amount of sweetness and they were just like so little and so good. Yeah, so, they, they take those big ones and they condense them into little mini ones and it concentrates the sugars and they taste so much sweeter. That's exactly, so. yeah, that's exactly what happens. <laughs> Just kidding, that's um, not what happens, he's just joking. Also, we did our very first Shauna Virtue workout this morning, which took us, I think, over an hour, almost two hours. Yeah, almost two hours. This morning. Because we've never done it before, so yeah, we were like, our first we were time. trying to figure out how to do the exercises, you know, and, and so we were looking stuff. at the diagrams in the book, and uh, that was a little bit difficult. It made us, you know, take a little extra time between each, each of the different workouts, but that's fine. And. It was awesome. It really focused on alignment, and I enjoyed it. Yeah, and, but we need to work on our alignment. Now though. that yeah, now that we've done it once, it's like going to only get easier from here. And like and in other words, we're gonna know what we're doing. But the next, the next one, tomorrow's exercise, she had 
has it all, like filmed, so you can do it with her. Right. Which is so much easier. Than yeah. Trying to like, I mean, like it's good to have the book to see, to also check your alignment and what her cues say. But yeah. At the same time, it's also really nice to have someone do it with you, so you don't have to like focus so much. Yeah, it's really helpful. Thank you, Shauna Virtue, for putting that on YouTube. Shout out to you. And um, with that, uh, we'll keep you updated. We'll give another, once we get to our, our little trail, we'll... We'll so planning to take pictures and plenty some videos. Updates. Yeah. So. All right, stay tuned. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Woo! Okay, so we are here-ish. We're just a little bit lost. It's a little confusing. It's not very clear where the trail line starts. Oh, I see. Or where to park the car. So Andrew's looking that up right now. You can see, like, it's so focused. Look at that focused face right there. Oh my gosh, so focused. Look at that. So cute. Anyway, so we're just, we're looking to get there. But it's it looks really beautiful right now from the private homes that are by here on the, the water. But we don't know how to quite get there. But I know there's a, a waterfront park where I think if we don't end up getting to this place right now, we can get there. So. Okay, we're getting really close to our starting place where we're gonna park the car for this beautiful walk, the Island Line Trail, and we're just getting to what's called on Google Maps as the Waterfront Park. So we're actually, we're actually point three miles away, one minute away, according to Google Maps. And look how beautiful, such a beautiful view. Sure, that's good. Well, so we are here by the waterfront, which I think is the beginning of the, the bike path that goes to the islands, which we're gonna to go to after this. Yeah. But check out this view. Like, Amazing. check out this view. Amazing. Actually, you know what? I think it's better if I switched it on the camera. Yeah, it's right here, look. Yeah. Oh, it's not letting me switch. I have to stop and film again. Okay, but check this out. How amazing is that? I don't know if you can see, there's all those mountains in the background. And it's just like so beautiful. So wonderful here. Look at this. Hey, you. Hey. It's gorgeous. Look at this. It's just really, really, really wonderful. So we found a vegan cafe, which is great. And it's so beautiful where it is. Like, look, it's by like this river. Like, I don't know if you can see Andrew's pointing to it. It's like, so this is like a, a little waterfall. Yeah. And then it's like right in front of us here in this like building. Yeah, it's like a class three rapid down there. Like, yeah, it's like really, so really cool. Awesome. Lots of great energy. So anyway, we're excited to go check it out, see what we can have. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe I'll have some eggplant bacon? Maybe? <laughs> Just kidding. I don't know. That would be cool. I don't know. We'll see. So, but I've been having bowel movements. I went, iced. Iced. <laughs> anyway. Compliment. All right. See you soon. <laughs> yeah. Hey. So, Andrew and I are at this cafe, Kigala, in Vermont.
We just finished eating and the salad was really good, but I am feeling a little bit heavy. It was a lot of different herbs and seasonings that I haven't had in so long. So it's a little bit intense for me right now. I think they definitely had some salt in there, which I haven't had at all, like any added salt. Like I just had veggies. And so, so we'll see how that goes. Like I feel a little bit like I know it sounds silly, but I feel kind of puffy. I know I don't look puffy, but I feel a little bit puffy. Do you know what I mean? And I don't necessarily like that feeling. So it was a really good experiment for me and my body to see. Um, I don't know, I just feel like a little bit puffy, but maybe that's in my head too. Cause I'm just like, I know salt is a water retainer. So that's could be why I feel that way. But I don't know. I'm gonna have to see how I feel later. But I have also some a kale salad, still some leftover from yesterday, so I might have some of that, we'll see. I don't know, I'm feeling like slightly conflicted because like I'm working to get off this fast correctly-ish, not really. No. No, stop you're it, not. we'll stop, you know? You like, are well, cause the thing is like, the, the, the thing can. is like, I really wanna yeah. eat more food, cause the thing is, this, this is what, this is what really is the issue. See, like, it'd be nice to finish the fast correctly and follow it, but I really want to do Shauna Virtue's workouts, and I know she has a whole, like, food regimen that she recommends, and so there's a part of me that's like, oh, I need to eat more food, but then I'm like, do I need to eat more food? And then I'm feeling really conflicted, and that's why I'm kind of doing, like, my own thing, which is the legitimate truth, obviously, as Andrew just called me out right now. So he just called me out, but it's like, that's the thing, it's like I'm doing my best, but like not really following the protocol of breaking the nine day fast. Like, I think that if I had continued and not fasted for those nine days, eating what I'm eating now wouldn't be quite as big as a, de a deal as it is now because this is like the first week off of the nine day fast of not eating at all. But I have been having bowel movements and that's the most important part. So when you're having the bowel movements, that means everything's working okay. So I, I went already twice today, so I have a feeling I'm going to want to go again. I have a feeling that I'm going to go again today because I just feel that way. Like everything's moving, which is great. So I'm not really concerned until like that stops. And if that does stop, then we have the Kalima board, which can help me out a lot. So that's right. why I'm kind of like not There's really no concerned. To be concerned about anything. Yeah. It's like you see, you experience a food that you, you know, is not agreeing with your body or not making you feel the way you want to feel. We know how to, you know how to, we all know how to change that. It's no problem. Don't eat it anymore. <laughs> Just stop eating it. So, no problem. So that's, that's something that I'm working on. So anyway, I think that we're going to head back to our Airbnb because I really want to take a bath and be warm because it's a little chilly for me. And I think Andrew and I definitely want to come back here, but when it's warmer. So we can really, really enjoy the waterfront. That was so beautiful, but it's just like so, it's really cold today. It's, but people are wearing t-shirts outside. And we'll both be eating food. Yeah. So we'll both be able <laughs> to enjoy a wonderful full meal. Yeah. Um, from any any restaurant we go to. Well, so not that's any, great. like, you know. You know, anyone we, that We're we looking at that have vegan options. The vegan ones, yeah, yeah. exactly, of course. It's so, the truth. That's, that's the plan. <laughs> so, yeah. anyway, we're gonna go do that and I might, I really want to do um, some of Doc Jen Fitz workouts, so I might do one of those while Andrew does some work because he has some work that he has to do. Well, not that he has to do, that he wants to do. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's where we are right now. So. All right, cheers. Anyway, just thought I'd give, keep you updated because I was explaining to Andrew how I was feeling and I was like, you know, I probably need to record this because you probably want to know how I'm feeling too after eating that salad. So, there you go. All right, I'll let you know what I eat later because I'll probably eat when I get back to the place too. <laughs> anyway, all right, talk to you later. We love Bye. food. We love food, yeah, especially when it's vegetables. Vegetables okay. and fruits. Woo, vegetables woo, and woo. fruits. Vegetables and fruits. <laughs> all right, so today has been a really eventful day. We went a little bit of sightseeing, but it was a little too cold for us, so we ended up 
going to a cafe. I had a little kale salad, which I recorded. And then we went to an Asian market and bought some durian. Cause I really, for my birthday cake, my birthday cake, I really wanted durian. <laughs> so we found two durian at the market and Kent mangoes and apple bananas. So I'm really excited about those, even though we have like a lot of fruit. I'm just really not feeling the watermelon right now, and I have three of them, so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do about that, but I'm really excited about the, the tropical fruit that we found at the Asian market here in Vermont. So cool. And I did a lot of working out today, and we did some walking as well. So today I have a little bit of extravagant dinner. I decided that I wanted to eat some, oops, some sweet potatoes. So I baked some sweet potatoes, just two of them, made them into kind of like fries. And then I had some kale salad left from yesterday. So it's a little bit more brown because it, you know, I guess some of it got cooked a little bit more. And I made, with that Florida avocado, I made a little bit of guacamole. So this is just like a little bit of guacamole that I had made with cilantro, tomato, some onion, and lime juice. And then I cut up in some Persian cucumbers. So that's my dinner tonight, and I'm feeling a little hungry. I just did a workout. It's about six o'clock. Last time I ate was around two o'clock. I finished around 2.45. So let's see. That's like three hours. And I'm feeling a little, I'm feeling hungry right now. I did have a coconut water when I got here. And I did try a tiny piece of melon, but we bought a melon and one spot got or something so it was, it was basically rotting in one spot but then the rest was not ripe at all so I just ended up getting rid of it unfortunately but you know I still have the watermelon and I still have two dragon fruit and now I have a whole bunch of canned mangoes which I'm really excited about and then I have a whole bunch of peppers and tomatoes that I need to do something with but if I don't get a chance to do something with it on this trip I will go home and I will cook them up and make them into some sort of sauce or something like that but anyway, I'm so, 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 so excited for this supper. And I'm so grateful that I get to eat this. I also went to the bathroom again. So three times I've been to the restroom. It's a little bit, it's not so solid, which is probably something you don't really wanna hear, but I haven't really had like a solid release yet, but at least I'm, it's releasing whatever's in there. So that's good. Anyway, I'm really excited to eat this dinner. I can't wait and I'm just gonna enjoy every single bite. I'm so grateful.